Hey everyone, this is Stephanie Wong, Head of Developer Engagement over here at Google Cloud. And today I'm super excited because I'm here with one of the longest standing pilots at the Drone Racing League, Gab707. Um, Gab, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Gab. Um, as you said it, the longest standing DRL pilot, seven years and counting. Well, today we're here to talk a little bit about the Google Cloud Fly Cup Challenge and how that relates to drone racing and your performance as a pilot. Why don't we go ahead and take a quick look at one of the parts of the challenges. I don't want to give away all of the secrets here, but we can see how that might affect you. So first of all, if you're looking here, this is one of the tasks that are included in phase one of the Fly Club Challenge. So this is a, a query that we've built against some of the tables here that you've been able to provide us from DRL. So this is showing a list of the number of pilots and their minimum times that they've been able to achieve for the heats, the heat IDs, and the points accumulated for each of them. There are a bunch of other tables that you can explore that are provided as a part of the challenge you see here. And then another extra credit of the challenge is being able to create a, a potential graph here as a part of Looker Studio. So what I've done here is I have taken the pilots per heat and this is just a record count. So record count as in the number of races that you've been a part of. So here, you know, Gab, you have one of the highest or the highest. Wow. And then here are the delta uh, for each of the heat times that you've been able to achieve compared to the average overall. So, you know, of course it varies over time per heat. So just some fun stats, like just curious what your first thoughts are. Oh, this is great. I mean, I think diving into things like that, I can learn a lot about um, how consistent I am. And, uh, you know, I see a lot of dips towards the bottom that those are not good. <laughs> so uh, I think I think stats, it really helps us um, identify where there's issues and, and try to resolve them. I actually think dips are good because I think this, in this graph, it means that you're dipping below your average time. So maybe it's a good thing actually. Um, and then a couple other things that you can do are, we've also provided you a Python notebook to train and run a model that helps predict pilot ranking or performance in races. And so you can run through this on your own, but you get the data, you create a model and you deploy it to Vertex AI model registry, and then you can run your own predictions against new data. So it's pretty interesting work. I'm sure the data world is going to really impact uh, drone racing, isn't it? Oh, I think so. It, it, it really needs it to, to move us to the next level. Um, a lot of the pilots work too, I don't know, closed in and we're just working on our little details, of course, you know, how you take this turn and that turn. But I think there's so much more here that is uh, evidence of, of what we're doing and um, it is very necessary for us to look at these things to reach the next level. Amazing. Well, I am super excited to see that record count keep going up and those average times going down. But thank you so much for being here, Cap. Thank you. Well, Stephanie, it's been great to catch up here and talk all things Google Cloud, DRL, and the Fly Cup Challenge. Same to you. It's been such an honor to learn from the most experienced DRL pilot and with a PhD. Really impressive. <laughs> For everyone else out there, get involved in the Fly Cup Challenge by heading to drl.io slash Google Cloud. And I can't wait to see you on that leaderboard.